language that's um, so from my childhood up until about 2003 we were told we were the wider Bundjalung language nation from our elders for generations that's all that we knew we didn't know the name of our language we just knew we were part of the wider Bundjalung language nation my elders said that that used to come up to Southport Hospital kind of area was the boundary um, and then 2003, we heard about Yagambir had brought out the language book with Dr. Margaret Sharp, and there was excerpts of our words in there, um, in brackets in the book, and it's like K-O-M was the abbreviation in the dictionary to say that was a Kumameri word and the Yagambir regional language she made. Um, that's been out for 20 years now. But our Kumameri, some of our family line, we didn't agree with that because it's been applied now it's gone from a language to a people group <laughs> and it's become a tribal name of this area and it's become a regional concept. Something we never recognised, um, we didn't work in regions, we worked locally only. Um, so we kind of pushed back. I was one of the people under my father and elders instruction that that's not our language, that word Yagambi actually meant the word de derivative of Yagam, which is our word for no or no, nothing, so we essentially became the nothing tribe under that banner, which I'm um, sorry, I'd rather be a Kumameri Torito Worm Eater than the nothing tribe, because I know my culture identity. I grew up knowing that since I was six months old, even though I had teachers, students, other educators tell me my whole life, you're too white to be Aboriginal, you're not Aboriginal. I go home crying, mommy, I'm not Aboriginal. Well, my mum would go back in. I think she formed the ASPA committee at my school after the first incident. Uh, um, that happened to me but um, yeah it's it's been a bit of contention for some of us because it's replacing our identity and my cousins and my family they don't know how to articulate it the way I do I'm like I see it as a second coming of assimilation because I'm being forced under someone else's um, what they think my identity should be but I know my identity and I'm trying to tell them but no one's listening so I've had to um, go back to the linguist and ask so Something needs to change. It needs to be equitable for all of us, not just equal. I'm like, we all have our rights and our language and I don't believe and that's my language, all my people, my group, and I've, I don't want to have it changed after 30 years of knowing what I am to be told I'm something different. So she understood that and, you know, we got into it a bit, but we always found a resolution because we were professional about it and we want to help everybody in the wider community to find some sort of level of peace because it caused so much more disruption. And we thought we did, we bringing out, we found our lost language, yay. Um, but, and it's the bits and pieces we know, and we've had to construct the rest of the dictionary with our neighboring tribes, with the words we didn't know. Um, but we've got to learn it at the same time as well as teaching it to the community. So that's gonna be a challenge. Um, and trying to rename the regional concept from Yagambir to Mibin. Mibin, we discussed with the linguist, she decided on this to try and alleviate all our concerns about this um, new regional concept. If she could rename it Mibin, because that's one word that all the five, six tribes she's written about and sourced from, it's one common word we all have and know is Mibin, the word for the wedge tail eagle. And that's M-I-B-I-N with a silent Y. And a book I think will be in the title page Mibinya, because Mibinya is ya is the people who say the word Mibin. So we're really excited about that. She's, she's drawn her own little totems, which is a totem from each tribe she's done the language on, and how we all kind of, and Mount Warning as the peak in the background that we all face towards that, because I found out um, a lot of our boring face mount warning for some reason, which is interesting facts. So. Mm -hmm. 